Yes guys, I'm back. This one could be my dunk low of the year so far. It's the Nike Dunk Low Sesame Alabaster and honestly this one is just so clean. So we're going to get straight into this one and check them out. I don't think photos and videos do this pair justice. If you are liking this pair from what you've seen so far, I definitely recommend picking this one up because you won't be disappointed. Honestly, in hand, this pair is so clean. So the release date on these, the 4th of March for £120 in the UK. You can still pick them up on the Nike website, although I picked up my pair from Seven Store. They're offering 15% off full price items. All you've got to do is sign up to their newsletter. This video is not sponsored by Seven Store, but you know if I can find you guys a discount code, I'll always let you know in the videos. So with the discount, it makes this pair about £100, which in my opinion is an absolute steal for this pair. Some Something I will say though is that canvas material is really difficult to clean. I did wear these in a really muddy location, but that is all part of my videos. I really enjoy matching the location to the sneaker and hopefully you guys enjoy it as well. I'd say maybe save this pair for the summertime because it's going to be really difficult to clean this one. So moving on to sizing. Now it is a woman's dunk, but depending on what region you live in, you might need to look at a conversion rate from women's to men's. I'll leave a link in the description to help you guys out. Something to point out though, the conversion rates are already done for us UK lot. So if you were looking on the Nike website for a size 11, that is actually a UK men's size 11. Just go to to size you should have no issues there but it really does depend on what region you're in however check out that link in the description then you know you get the perfect size view if you don't live in the uk so moving on to comfort mixing that canvas and leather makes us a really comfortable shoe especially with this foam padded tongue you've got a soft lining for the ankle support honestly this one's really really comfortable i definitely recommend picking this one up i'm really surprised this pair's gone under the radar the materials feel so premium but like we always do we'll do a little unboxing we'll do a review on the shoe and we'll cover all areas so starting off with the box you've got the standard red nike box with a white nike writing and a white Nike swoosh. Moving on to the outer sole in this real nice light olive color. Really nice color, this one. These are a little bit dirty still. I've tried my best to clean them, but I really don't want to risk ruining that canvas material. So moving on to the midsole, which is in this off-white color. It does have this sort of speckled effect to it, almost like it's been made of like recycled materials. Hopefully the camera picks that up, but a really nice small attention to detail on this one. Just above the midsole, you've got this soft leather dark olive paneling, and the leather's actually really nice on this one. Makes this pair look really unique. Two swooshes on this one. You get a mini embroidered swoosh. You also get this sort of muted yellow suede swoosh that goes all the way around to the back of the shoe. Moving on to the heel, the heel overlays in this soft canvas material, same material as the heel tab. The heel tab has got this Nike writing stitched in this dark orange color, which really complements the rest of the shoe. And in between that, you've got more of that dark olive color, but it's a little bit darker than you can find on the side paneling, but it goes really, really well. Moving on to the toe box, the toe box itself and this beige leather, which is actually really, really soft. I don't know if it's because you're mixing this canvas and the leather, but I have to say this one's really, really comfortable. Really nice leather on this one. I'd probably give it like a seven out of 10. Neutral colors for the canvas around the toe and this of white canvas and then the heel area in sort of this sail color but they go really really well together so moving on from that soft paneling you get these hemp laces which are sort of like a rope style laces i will be switching these for white but that is just my opinion but let me know in the comments though you're a fan of these laces would you be switching them let me know the tongue itself and this exposed foam, really nice to see something different on a Nike Dunk, really, really comfortable as well. At the top of the tongue, you get this canvas square with a Nike brand in. The Nike brand in more of that dark orange color, really does make this pair pop. So same as the heel and the tongue tab, you get more of this orange brand in on the inner sole, the inner sole itself in a beige color. And to finish it off, you get this padded ankle support in this really nice soft fabric. I have to say I'm a massive fan of this colorway. We'll finish off with a last minute 360 this shoe. I'm really surprised this pair's gone under the radar, but I want to hear your opinion. Are you a fan of these? Do you like these? Let me know. So this pair's already made its way into my rotation. I'm loving the fact there's no hype on this one. If you want in a pair that not too many people are wearing for summer, something that's going to be really comfortable, this could be the one. I definitely recommend picking this pair up. I'll be switching these rope laces for a white pair. I think it'll just look so much better, but that is just my opinion. I want to hear your opinion though. Are you a fan of these? Did you pick this one up? Are you going to pick this one up? Let me know in the comments. And that's pretty much all there is to cover on this one. If this review helped you out, it helped you make a decision. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel because that helps me out. I'm trying to get a thousand subscribers by the end of the year. So if you could subscribe, I would really appreciate it but until next time cheers